Cool. You know, last week, a couple weeks ago, we had Katie Couric on. Uh -huh. Remember, she told me the way to get your dog house trained was to stick a match up the dog's butt? Yes, I okay, do. Okay, it was a little disturbing, I'll admit. <laughs> and I said that I didn't believe it was true. I know you're looking shocked. That's how I felt about it. So here, uh, actually, with the match butt dog story <laughs> is the woman who trained Katie Couric's dog, because, frankly, I didn't believe it. Sarah Hodgson and her dog, Hope. Please welcome Sarah. <laughs> All right. How are you, Sarah? Yeah, you know what he doesn't want to come up? He sees the matches. Yes. That's what it is. Now, what kind of dog is Hope, Sarah? What kind is a cute Hope, little Benji dog? She is. She's a mixed breed. A mixed Hair breed. Hair and terrier mix. Yeah. yeah. And I found her about six months ago. They found her in Yonkers, and I got her a couple weeks after. Really? She was like a runaway, or you don't know? Oh, no. Stray. She was like the fattest street dog. She really? was like queen of, of the food. What exactly? Do you do, how do you become a dog trainer? Because frankly, I find this disturbing. How did you become, <laughs> do you have any kind of certificate or anything? I do, actually. I was in pre-vet school mm. at Michigan State. Right. And I had my hand up cow's butt, so putting a little matchstick in dogs is like no big deal. <laughs> did you volunteer to be the one no, to go? No, I didn't. You didn't? It was it a was, required was thing like in the course? It was like a required course. All right. Now, frankly, Katie told me I, well, I'm to let you explain it, because I might laugh my way through it. Tell everyone about what you're supposed to do. Okay. The key thing is uh -huh. when you get a ha dog in your home that isn't trained, whether it's a puppy or an older dog, right. what you want to do is teach them uh -huh. to go to the bathroom in the same spot. Okay. And in one spot, especially if you have a big yard or you're in the city, you want them to go on the curb. Right. So three times only, you don't take wooden matches. Because that's what I was stuck. envisioning. No, it could, you see, this was originated with the vets who use matchsticks to get thermometers out of a dog's butt. But with the thermometer comes other things. <laughs> all right, all right. So, so you never want to use Don't use this. a wooden match, people at home, if you're if thinking you of trying this. Negative. And honestly, I don't believe you should because I think your dog will need some kind of medication afterwards. But you use the regular okay. kind of match. Here's what you do. You take the match. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mmm, and you dip it in a little Vaseline. Great. Okay. And you give the little dog a cookie. A cookie. Because she's so very cute. Yeah, uh -huh. Let me, please, do not demonstrate it. Just tell us. <laughs> I promise. Okay, good. Go ahead. Well, I have no cookies. So that's fine. So, and right. no Vaseline. Well, that's so why we didn't give the Vaseline. We thought you might wink. <laughs> so we just thought, well, it won't give you the option. Okay. Yeah, you stick it in the dog's hiney. You don't even have to touch the dog's hiney. And my argument is I'd rather do this three times than have to clean up poop in my house for a year. So here's what you do, Rosie. Yeah. Imagine. You just take, you take the match, yeah. and you insert just the head. Hasn't been lit. Uh-huh. It's not lit. I understand. And then you take the dog outside, you say outside, you take it to the spot and say, You Get leave it busy. in there while you go you out? You leave it in there. You leave it in there. You know how he's it's gonna be key. ridiculed amongst the doggy people in the park? No. But the other dog's gonna go, ruff, ruff. He's gonna match up his butt. Ruff, ruff. <laughs> then out it comes. Then you, you go down there his tiny and you rip the match out? No, you leave it in. It comes out with everything else. Oh, it naturally comes out with naturally. the poop. Naturally. I thought it was like a pull start. Woom, you know, no. I didn't know. So you just leave it in, you stick a match in, and how many more minutes before the poop comes? Less than three. Sometimes only 30 seconds. Only 30 seconds. And then when it happens, you say, get busy. And then after the third time, see, she's like, what? I thought I wasn't supposed to go to the bathroom on the set. Get busy, you say it as she's pooping. And then event after the third time, you just walk to the spot, say, get busy, and she poops. Do you have a book or anything about this? I've written six books. Really? About this and topic? No. No, good. Because I thought, I once just tell that that's pretty much covered. You know what but I mean? But my brother said to me, he yeah. will never look at a book of matches the same way again. Nor will I, Sarah. And frankly, I'm sorry Katie even mentioned this whole thing to me because <laughs> now I have a visual I'll never be able to shake. Sarah, ladies and gentlemen, put this in your dog's butt if you need to. Uh, we'll be right back after this break. Don't go away.